Thank you, Matt. I am so glad to be here and to share our story with you. At GE Healthcare, we build the world's best medical devices. We ship tens of thousands of these to 120 countries, generating about 19 billion in revenue, about 3 billion in profit. And tonight I'm here to tell you, we are all in on SageMaker. So imagine later tonight, I'm in a car wreck. An ambulance comes and it whisks me to the closest emergency room. And at that emergency room, the care team is gonna perform a CT scan. And they're gonna understand my injuries, they're gonna plan the surgery, and then they're going to go ahead and execute that surgery. As they sew me up, there's one last thing they need to worry about and that is they perform an x-ray. And the purpose of the x-ray is to determine are there any remaining critical conditions. If there are, the radiologist will see those, I'll go back on the operating table, they'll open me up, address them, and then whisk me back to recovery. This is great. And here in Las Vegas, we have a level one trauma center. What does that mean? That means that there's a radiologist 7 by 24 to read my scan quickly and accurately. Now, we are so fortunate in the United States because we have about one radiologist for every 10,000 citizens. That means we have incredible coverage in the main major cities. But around the world, and even in the US in rural areas, people aren't so fortunate. So for example, in Kenya, 48 million people, one radiologist for 240,000 lives. This scarcity is a real issue and it leads to issues of accuracy and timeliness. Imagine I didn't have my car wreck here in Las Vegas. Imagine it was way out in the boonies of Nevada. Probably wouldn't be a radiologist there my scan probably wouldn't be read. And in the eight hours until the morning when the new radiology staff comes on board, I might have a critical condition. I might crash and have to be raced back to the operating room at great cost, at great risk to my own life, so that they could address that issue and then finally get me back to recovery. Well, moving forward, we have to think, how can we do this better? This is the perfect opportunity for artificial intelligence. This is where artificial intelligence can help the care team to save lives. Now, what would that look like? This would be a deep learning algorithm, and this algorithm would first look and detect, is there a critical condition? Second, it would localize it, so it would draw the eyes of the care team exactly to the area of the scan that's important. And finally, it would quantify it so the care team knows, is this really grave or is this inconsequential and something just to keep an eye on? Well, in my case, it's a critical pneumothorax. That means my lung is collapsing. This happens 74,000 times a year in the United States. It is a great use case for artificial intelligence. There's a huge body of data and it occurs constantly. So as you think about this, you might be wondering, great, how did you create this algorithm? Keith, how could I create this algorithm at my company? At first, as Matt was saying in the prior presentation, we partner with great hospitals from around the world. Remember, I said we do business in 120 countries? That means our training data set needs to reflect all the lives of the people that we cover. And once we have all of those data relationships, we join the scan with the report, we de-identify it, and then we bring it into Edison AI Services. This is where, once it's ingested, we catalog it, we index it, and we secure it. And once we have a large enough, diverse enough data set that represents all those lives, we're ready for curation. And during the curation phase, what we're really looking to do is create ground truth for our data. And that means the care team, the physicians, the radiologists, they're all coming in, and what they'll do is they'll label each scan, positive for pneumothorax, negative for pneumothorax. But we go further. We actually do 
pixel level curation where we circle where the pneumothorax was in my lung. Once we have this perfect ground truth data, we're ready to train. And we train in SageMaker. And we train and we train until we have a highly accurate model. And once we have that model, we're ready to deploy. And we love to take the same model and deploy it everywhere. So we will deploy to our health cloud that we built with AWS about four years ago. And there, you can imagine we're going to be doing telemedicine as a service, algorithm as a service. So all those lives in Kenya, we can bring inferencing to them and a quick feedback. Or we can deploy to the edge. So imagine hospitals with tens of x-rays, maybe hundreds of x-rays across their network. They don't want to upgrade. They simply want to deploy an edge device and make the entire fleet smarter. Finally, we can do what I need tonight after my car wreck, which is I want this algorithm deployed on my x-ray so that at the point of care, before I ever get wheeled out of the emergency room, the care team is alerted to a condition and they can address it real time. Point of care is perfect as a use case. So why SageMaker? Why AWS? Well, we're not here to build one algorithm. We're building thousands of algorithms. And in order to do that, we need to ingest petabytes of data, and we need to store it compliantly. We need to have team upon team upon team working on curation with us. And we need to orchestrate that curation so that all of those projects move forward efficiently, effectively. As we go into training, our data scientists love to spawn tens of experiments on P2 instances. And what they're trying to do is winnow down from many to one highly accurate model. And once they find it, they flip over to a P3. And when they're on the P3 insta instance, they go from days of training to hours of training. And this makes them thrilled because they have a great pipeline for going faster. Finally, for deployment, as Matt was saying, we deploy everywhere tens of thousands of devices a year. This means that we have to deploy on Windows. We deploy on Windex. <laughs> Windows Linux, not Winix. We deploy on CPUs. We deploy when they're present on GPUs. And on every device, we have a different memory footprint. So we have to optimize this model and optimize this model to target for every one of our end deployment targets. Now, Spoiler alert, I'm going to survive my car wreck tonight. The care team is going to see my pneumothorax. They're going to address it quickly and effectively. And with artificial intelligence, we're going to save lives. Quality of health care is going to go up. The number of errors is going to go down. And that means that costs can come down. Now, this isn't just for x-ray. This week, we are announcing brand new algorithms for ultrasound, for MR, for CT, all built on SageMaker. And we are launching these at the world's largest radiology event out in Chicago right now. So I can't tell you how proud I am of our partnership here and what this means. For us, our purpose is to improve lives in moments that matter. And with SageMaker and AWS, we're just getting started. Thank you.